65-year-old Nanda Shiftare has been fighting a lengthy legal battle for her share of family property after her father died in 1993. The recent court verdict that recognizes her as an equal inheritor significantly bolsters her case, she believes. I was thrilled when I heard of the court ruling. I am confident now that I will get what is rightfully mine. The ruling could have far-reaching consequences in the high corridors of corporate India too. Sons have traditionally been seen as heirs and successors to family fortunes here in India. And in the past, several business families and high net worth individuals have given daughters only token settlements. The judgment could well lead to a spate of new litigation and reopen old cases as daughters are emboldened to assert themselves, say experts. Going forward, daughters will certainly be more assertive in uh, enforcing their rights and asking for their due share uh, when it comes to family partition or succession. This is truly a landmark step uh, towards uh, gender equality. But it will take a lot more than a legal amendment for quick change to happen in a country where women are often forced by tradition to give up what's rightfully theirs. A vast majority may still shy away from court battles. Traditionally, we are a very, very tightly bound, family-oriented society. So what essentially happens is that, you know, women are a long way to go if we have to litigate against the family. Not a panacea then for overnight change, but certainly a big step in the long march for gender equality in India. Nikhil Ananda, BBC News, Mumbai. Football clubs across...